Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to Everyday Faith, day 13. Hope you guys are doing great today as we dive into another day of um, our journey, our theme this month on commitment. We're coming at you from Hebrews 12, 1 today and it says this. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the, the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with the endurance the race God has set before us. And if you continue to read, it says this. Once you've committed to whatever, whatever calls, mission, relationship God has placed on your heart, you'll have to continuously battle against the weights, the hang-ups, and sins that will keep you from reaching your destination or accomplishing your goal. Sometimes the greatest challenge in this is that you've been so accustomed to carrying the weights or continuing in habits that actually deter you from following through on your commitments. While sinful actions are obvious to identify and spot, things that can be considered weights are sometimes more difficult to identify, yet they can impede our progress as much as sin. Take some time to identify what things in your life are serving as weights and preventing you from remaining committed. This could include relationships, work, priorities, sin, or anything else. It can be anything for anyone. So take some time to identify what things in your life are serving as weights and preventing you from remaining committed. And then it may get to the point where some of those things in your life will have to be eliminated. Some relationships. I'm not saying don't love that person anymore, but you may need to spend less time in that toxic relationship. Um, work. If it's a very toxic work environment, I've seen people on the Faith, Faith Box Facebook group post that they've had to make changes because of the toxic, toxicity of their work environment brings them down. They're not as good of a husband. They're not as good of a spouse. They're not as good of a, a father or a mo mother. Um, and it's just messing with all areas of their life. So take some time to identify what things in your life are serving as weights and preventing you from remaining committed. And then let's do something about those. Come say hi. My buddy wants to say hi again. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. What do you want to say to everybody? Hi. You say, have a good day today. Yeah? yeah? What else? Anything else? Want to say Jesus loves you? Jesus loves me. You, you, remember what you told me the other day that if you die, it's okay because what? Jesus plays with me. You told me the other day, you talked about childlike faith. He said, Daddy, it's okay if I die before you because Jesus will play with me before you get there. So I want to live more like that. Love you, buddy. Love you, buddy. All right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.